These times are times of chaos and uncertainty. And they're the sort of times that make you long for a hero. And fortunately, there are plenty of heroes to choose from from Revolution, namely the kind that you can drink. Tonight we've got four of them that I got from a four pack at a local beer store near me. And we're gonna go through each one of these heroes, kind of like kids playing with their damn action figures, and we're gonna figure out which hero is the best one objectively from my very limited taste bud opinion. So the Amarillo hero, I've got to say, if we were just judging only on appearance, I might just, you know, give the contest to it. It is a beautiful golden yellow color. Just look at that pour, even with my sloppy thumb and stupid fingers in the way. You can see that that is like a lovely summer day being poured into your glass. The Amarillo hops are quite nice. I really liked them. Justin said he got a tangerine vibe in terms of the citrus. I said orange, so we're basically in agreement there. Yeah. And it ties in to me with kind of like a cactus pine type of uh, sting at the end of it, which is really nice and keeps it nice and crisp and refreshing. Personally, I would give the beer a four star rating without any question or reservation. It's this is actually the first time I've ever had this particular hero, and it is a outstanding beer. So let's move on to the others and see how it holds out. So we've got a bit of a darker amber this, this round around. It's a lovely beer again though. Uh, it's not gonna be an easy decision to make. Now with this one, this scent and taste, you're gonna get a lot of kind of a tart dried apricot mixed with some spice bush for the floral notes on it. It is absolutely glorious to drink. This one it, uh, actually bites a little less hard than the Amarillo. Um, so if you have someone that you're just getting into IPAs but still wanna try them on kind of a hot bomb, this is a pretty good one to do. Um, it smells pretty intimidating if a person doesn't particularly like hops, but it really isn't when you drink it. it is very very smooth finish not a lot of that bitter bite that you sometimes have at the end that not everybody's too wild about i would recommend this is a great ipa to expose people to and an excellent demonstration of the mosaic hop four stars mm, how are we going to decide this now so now we're on the galaxy hero loved it it's also a little bit more amber i guess amarillo is going to be the bright color of the bunch for certain and it is a yeah we don't have too much left oh no it's a delicious beer i loved it you get a nice bit of uh, lemon at the beginning and justin also alleges that with that lemon taste you get some banana i guess he's kind of right about that i feel like the, the yeast of it kind of sweetens that lemon start a little bit and it goes right into that sort of menthol and hibiscus flavor that gives you that kind of dry hop crispness towards the end. I feel like this is still a pretty quenching beer in spite of how dry the hops kind of make it feel but I've also got to take into consideration that the dry hop taste at least in the pool of people who I drink beer around tends to be the thing that can be a turnoff to people who aren't necessarily usually into IPAs or who don't really consider IPAs to be their best beer in the white world ever. So, personally, I'm gonna give this one a three and a half. I feel that it's really excellent and a very good demonstration of the style, but I also feel that it has the potential to be a little more off-putting to not only people who aren't necessarily into IPAs, but even some other people who tend to like IPAs but want to go for less of the dry, sort of chemical, I mean, not better word than chemical, how about medicinal flavors that you get at the very end. Still cheers, I loved it. Let's get to that last one, shall we? The Anti-Hero is actually the first hero that I ever had in the Hero series from Revolution. It's great. This is the first hero that we've had tonight that has a bit of a malt body that you're still going to be able to taste. It has a 
amber coloration, uh, not as bright yellow as some of the other ones like the Amarillo Hero. And the flavor of it, since it has a much broader mix of hops within it, is a little more difficult to distinguish. You're going to get a lot more of the uh, sweet kind of citrus notes right at the beginning, followed up by kind of a nice pine finish that leads into the malt. I guess it would be not unfair to call this kind of more like an APA, an American style pale ale, at least how those styles of beers are tends to be imagined by others. It has a strong malt body, but the hop profile is what's put up in front. Personally, I love the Antihero. It was for a while one of my go-tos until I found Fist City from Revolution as well. I give it a very, very solid three stars. I like the beer very much. would recommend it to others who like IPAs, but if you're not into IPAs or APAs, you probably aren't going to find too much likable about this one. But it's a great go-to. And so there we have it settled. I don't know, I guess it's going to be a toss-up between uh, Mosaic and Amarillo for deciding who wins tonight. And if I really had to pick between the two, as tough as a decision as it is, I think we're going to have to go with Amarillo. I feel it's uh, ultimately a better, broader demonstration of the IPA style. And hop bombs with, very, with absolutely no malt profile at all tends to be a little trickier of a sell for me, and I feel that the Amarillo, in spite of having a very distinct malt body, really demonstrates what you can do with a lot of hops, but a discipline in what kind of hops you choose. So there we go. It was a tough call. Love all the contenders. We recommend all the contenders. Let me know if you think uh, the star system that Justin and I figured out for these contenders is wrong. And, you know, go to the, go look for a hero near you, and I guess, so Justin doesn't have to do it for me like he usually does, make sure that you like, and you subscribe, and you Facebooks, and whatever. And Take care. Of, you drink Finish for us. Yeah, drink responsibly, too. We, we didn't drink all the beer that you saw here tonight. We just, I did. <laughs> that's a good thing. Ha, 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 ha.